low voltage signaling equipment. If we look under the feature definition, we can see the subcategories we are supporting energy, signal, telecom, and trench. Let's start to place an isolation joint. We'll rule it to the clearance point, we'll set an offset, elevation, and a rotation for it. We'll continue to place a signal and then move on with a balise. And we will place two cable pits, one before and one after the signal. And finally, an, an, a cabinet. We'll update the schematic view to synchronize the display of the object. But let's do this again. So we'll delete all of them. And we will use a batch process to place the equipment. So go backstage and, and run the batch process tool and apply a command file. The command file can use the linear referencing data or it can use coordinates for positioning equipment. By processing this file it will place all the equipments that the command file contain. One of the cable pits, the one to the left there, was placed using coordinates. If you look at the properties, it doesn't have a, a reference center line, but we can apply that afterwards. Moving on to the trenches. So we will place the trench from the first cable pit and then follow the geometries and then terminate the trench at the, at the other cable pit. We'll change the type of the trench to a multi-duct and we will run the multi-duct from the cabinet and at attach that to the main trench. Cables. We'll run a cable from the electrical cabinet and we will run that to the signal. If we select the cables and, and look at the properties, we can see the connectivity data for the cable. So it's connected to, from the cabinet to the signal.